Hiya YouTubers, this is Superman G, come back at you one more again. And in this video, I'm going to upgrade a laptop. Now, one of my fellow co-workers handed me this laptop and asked me if I could upgrade it. He is going to send it to a young child from his country who needs it so they can do their schoolwork on it. Of course, I said yes to it. Now, if you are interested in knowing how to make these similar upgrades to your laptop, then this video may be for you. But keep in mind that your laptop's features and specs may differ. So refer to your owner's manual or documentation for more information or visit your laptop's manufacturer's website. With that being said, the process of changing the parts out is still the same. So upgrading will be as follows. Changing operating systems from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Changing the memory from 4 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes and storage will go from a 250 gigabyte hard disk drive to a 500 gigabyte SATA SSD drive. So with that being said, let's get it done. Before upgrading 8.1 to Windows 10, make certain that you have all the latest updates in Windows 8.1. The installation of Windows 10 may not complete because of important files it needs installed on the computer. So keep checking the Windows update until it shows you have all the latest updates or no updates available at this time. Once you have all the latest updates, then you may proceed with running the upgrade to Windows 10. Remember, as long as you have a valid copy of Windows 7 or 8.1, you can get a free download of Windows 10. If you are running Windows 8, you need to upgrade it to Windows 8.1 first or you may encounter errors that will not allow you to install Windows 10. To upgrade to Windows 8.1, go into Control Panel, find Windows Update, and click on it. Then look to the left side pane and click on Check for Updates. Do this several times to get upgraded to Windows 8.1. This will take a fair amount of time as there are several updates that it needs to download, so you have to be patient. You may want to walk away and do something else whilst this is happening. Next, you want to make certain that your current hard drive is free from any viruses or malware. You can download these programs from various sites like Symantec.com or Malwarebytes.com and others. In this example, I downloaded and used an antivirus program from MCSoft.com. They allow you to install and run a virus scan for free. Malwarebytes will also allow you to use their program for free. Update all of the definitions of the program and run a scan. Make sure you do a deep scan. Scanning may also take some time to complete, so be patient with this as well. If no viruses or malware are found, then you may proceed with the next step. Unplug the laptop from its charger and remove the battery. This is a necessary step and should not be avoided or you can run the risk of shock or damaging the internal components. Turn the laptop over and proceed to remove the screws that secure the back cover in place if applicable. With this laptop, you have to remove two screws in the battery compartment first. I highly suggest that you purchase a laptop and tablet replacement toolkit or similar tools that will help greatly with this as some of the screws are very small and some are not of typical Phillips or flathead shapes. I'll leave a link to where you can get this particular toolkit in the description area of this video. Then sliding the latch to the unlock position is all that's needed to remove the back cover. After removing the back cover, locate the area where the hard drive is. Remove the screws that secure the hard drive in place and slide it out. Make certain to not remove the hard drive from its caddy at this time. Place the original hard drive next to the replacement drive so you will know the orientation of how it is to be properly placed on the caddy. Once that has been established, remove the four screws holding the hard drive in the caddy and take it out. Then place the new drive in the caddy and secure it with the four screws and place it into the hard drive area and slide it back into the SATA connecting ports. Make certain of this or the computer will not boot properly. Next, find the area where the memory is stored. 
push the two connecting arms towards the outside and the memory will angle upwards. Push, pull out the memory and repeat the same for any other memory present. Take the replacement memory and slide it into the memory slot at an angle and press it down until the connecting arms lock the memory in place. Make certain to check for orientation of the memory into the slot where there is a notch present that helps you with this. Repeat this step for any other memory that's needed. Replace the back cover, screws, and battery. Turn the laptop over and plug it into the charging cable and turn it on. Now, if you have a valid copy of Windows 10 and need to do a clean install, I will put a link to that in the video description. If you want to clone the information from your old hard drive to new hard drive, I will post a link to that as well in the video description. So I hope this helps you guys out. You all take care, be safe, and peace out.